welcome back to Dream Design Dwell. Today, we are talking bed, bath, and bar. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to style this bar cart three different ways. Two, a little outside the box in the bed and bath, and then the more traditional way of the bar cart. So let's get started. I love to take a household item and use it in a little bit of a non-traditional way. So we're gonna take the bar cart out of the bar and first put it into the bedroom. Well, not literally into the bedroom because we're on set here. But as you can see, we're using the bar cart as a bedside table. Now, you have to put on your bedside table whatever makes you feel amazing uh, when you curl up in bed at night. And I'm gonna just show you a few things that I like to keep personally in mind. So first, I start with a reading lamp. I chose this one because it actually fits to scale, and I love the little rosebuds and metallic finish on this lamp. Next, I always place a little bottle of water because I always wake up at night um, super thirsty, and so it's great to be able to have that in reach instead of trotting downstairs and um, having to get that water. Then I like to add a stack of books for height. And I always keep my journal and maybe a novel and a magazine that I'm, I'm actually reading um, and keep it there. Uh, next, let's move on to, I love frames that um, capture moments. This one is of my mom and I on a trip to Paris. So when I glance over at it, it um, just brings back memories and makes me really happy. Um, then last but not least on the top shelf, I always like to place a candle so I can light it. And again, it makes me feel really cozy and just relaxed um, at nighttime before I go to bed. Then when we move down to the bottom shelf, I always toss on a throw or two. I just roll them up. It's really easy then to reach down and grab them if you get a little chilly at night or if you're just lounging and reading a book, your toes can stay nice and toasty. Um, and then I always like to bring a little bit of a touch of the inside, actually of the outside in. So I added a little bouquet of flowers just add a pop of color and um, again, it just gives me a nice relaxed feel. Okay, you guys, we are still thinking outside of the box when it comes to the bar cart. So next, we're taking our bar cart into the bathroom to create a spa and zen-like feel. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a sucker for a really hot bath at nighttime before I go to bed. So I have taken this giant container and filled it with several bags of Epsom salt. So at nighttime, I can just scoop this up and uh, drop it in, and I get a really nice, relaxing bath. Then I stacked up uh, these gorgeous bars of soap. They come in several different colors. They're still in my package. Um, just kind of preserve them. But there's nothing better than a really yummy body wash or a bar of soap to make you feel luxurious. In the back here, I this is actually not functional. I just thought it was so pretty. It's a giant perfume bottle from Z Gallery and just thought it added a little bit of whimsy and girliness to my cart. Then when you get out of your bath or shower, you have to keep your skin nice and yummy and supple. So I have this gorgeous container of body butter that I like to use. And last but not least, if I'm not going to bed and I'm maybe um, going out or going to dinner, I like to have an easy access to perfume. This is uh, the Tom Ford in tobacco vanilla and it smells amazing. Okay, so on the bottom shelf, I just rolled up um, really yummy white spa-like towels. Again, I personally love white. I think it screams spa and just luxury, but you can use whatever color you like. And then on the other side, I have a candle that I love to light just to add, again, coziness and warmth and relaxation. That feeling just makes you feel so amazing while you're relaxing in the bath. I also have a book, a coffee table book, to add a little bit of height and a pop of color. Um, I have a sponge on the bottom as well. There's nothing better than to get in the bath and um, be able to loop up. And last but not least, again, I love to bring a little bit of that outdoor, indoor feeling. So I have a bunch of the pink flowers just to add, again, that girly touch. Okay, so we have covered two non-traditional ways to use the bar cart in the bedroom as a side table, and in the bathroom as a spa zen-like table. So let's actually talk about the bar cart for what it was created for, the bar. So depending on what type of event or who you wanna have over will depend on how you wanna stock your bar cart. 
So who I have in mind today is a group of girls. So um, sorry guys, I left you out, but if I was having guys over, I'd probably do a little bit more, some beers and hard liquors. Although I know some of you girls will love that stuff too. So I have stocked my cart with vodka, wine, some mixers, of course champagne, a beautiful decanter that again if you um, wanted to you could fill it with scotch or whiskey and tequila. I've added these adorable paper, paper straws, they just add a little bit of whimsy and playfulness to your bar cart. Then the glassware I've chosen today are martini glasses, champagne and wine glasses. Again, if your guests like to drink something like scotch or whiskey, you would need to add in uh, the different glassware and tumblers for that. And last but not least on the top shelf, I brought in my trusty flowers to bring a little bit of the outdoors in and also add a little bit of pop of color and femininity to my bar cart. Oh, on the front too, I can't forget my bottle opener. It's an antique bottle opener. I probably won't use it for this grouping, but I just thought it was adorable, but it is actually functional, so if someone wanted to use it, they could. Okay, moving down to the bottom shelf. Now, you have to keep in mind that not everyone likes to drink. Um, some people may want one glass and then move on to something that is not alcoholic, and then you always have a designated driver as well. So you have to keep everybody in mind. So on the bottom shelf, I like to stock it with fizzy waters, Cokes, juices that have a little bit of fizz um, in it as well, and a few other mixers. I also have an ice bucket. To add height, I took a vintage uh, wine box to add to stack um, everything in the back. And again, to bring a little bit of nature and color in, I stacked some limes. You can use lemons or whatever you think that you might want to cut and put into your drinks. I also have a jigger and a shaker, a bottle opener, and some cocktail napkins. And I also have a few books stacked up, and one of them is a cocktail book, so that if someone uh, requests a drink that I don't know how to make, I can whip my cocktail book out, look it up, and make everyone happy. Well, I hope you have enjoyed my tips and ideas on how to style bar cart three different ways. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment below. A lot of my ideas will be also written into my blog, Courtney Bailey, DreamDesignDwell.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'd love to be social and Instagram so we can see each other's various ideas and what's going on. And I'd also love for you to subscribe to my blog. Again, if you have any great ideas for a bar cart, please leave me a note because, again, I'm always looking for new ideas. I hope you guys have an amazing day and keep dreaming, designing, and dwelling.